Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Season 3 of the Minecraft server. It is turning nighttime. I probably shouldn't have started recording here. Uh, okay, so today we're going to lay out the groundwork for our project. I'm really excited. I've designed it in my head. <laughs> it's on a virtual piece of paper in my head. Uh, okay, so originally I said I was going to make like three sort of circles combined together and make it, and it would look sort of like a three-leaf clover, but... I'm thinking I want to base it a little more on a lily pad because, well, technically, it's on the water, so it makes a little bit of sense to have it, to have it as a lily pad. I heard that zombie, but I don't know where he is. I don't even have a pick. What am I doing over here? Oh my God! It's a creeper parade. Hey, come here, guys. <laughs> Are you guys gonna make it out? I don't even know if I can make it out. Hey, how you guys doing? That sheep's dead. I was actually going to go look for some sheep. Because I need wool. Oh, he hurt me. But I don't think he did any permanent damage. I need wool to make a bed. I don't really feel like going all the way back to my, uh, my first base. Although, I did leave a lot of cobble there. and st Oh, man. What is with the... Oh, wow. My sword broke at the worst time possible. Actually, that might have been the best time possible because I actually managed to survive. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go and make a pick and stuff. Dang, I hate that this got all destroyed. I sort of want to repair this a little bit. Just, just, a little, just a little repair work here. This kind of was a hole to begin with down here, right? So where's that water coming from the bottom? The bottom, huh? Right there? Oh, no, right here. The gaping hole in the side of the wall here. Anyway, uh, so to lay out our, our groundwork for this uh, lily pad project. By the way, I'm not going to base it on a Minecraft lily pad because they're not round. They're not as round as I like them to be. They're sort of square. Look at that skeleton with a helmet. So I want to base it off uh, more off of a real lily pad, and real lily pads are almost perfectly round, uh, with a with like a slit in the middle. I might have holy crap! You gotta be kidding me! Uh, I might have uh, more than one slit, maybe maybe two or three. Well, probably odd numbers. So if I have more than one, it'll be three. Dang it, man! I gotta get back in my cabin. I didn't even show you guys my cabin. I, I worked, I'm out of arrows. I worked on my cabin, and it looks really good. What am I going to do here? <laughs> ah, Arcus is on. Okay. Oh, boy. This is interesting. I don't think I can make it in there. Oh, this UHC mode really throws a hamper, a wrench, a, a cork. Throws, what was a cork? Throws a something it throws something in into the mix that I don't enjoy I'm just kidding actually I'm having a lot of fun hey, come on buddy you're gonna drop that enchanted shovel that'd be awesome dang it we're gonna need some things to get started with this project first of all probably a whole lot of cobble just to make the out the uh, the outer perimeter of it just to make the circle so I'm gonna go back and get some cobble oh a carrot sweet I did not have a carrot before or carrots in general. Another thing we're we're gonna need is silk touch to get um, to get some grass out there because I want some grass. I want it to look natural too. Uh, we're also gonna need the colors I'm gonna go with are mainly white, green, whites, greens, and blues. So water, uh, greens for plant life, and white is gonna be the mostly the perimeter. I guess whites and grays is what, like light grays. Like the the stone slabs, I should stop talking and get in my house. But there are terrible things waiting for me. Why do they have to spawn right there, man? You know what I should do? Maybe a little. Oh, this guy's gonna hit me. This guy's gonna hit me. Just light this up a little bit. 
What are the chances I can make it in my house? Oh, crap. Very little. I was going to say, what are the chances I can make it in my house without getting hit? Holy crap. So far, so good. Dang it, man. There's... Look at this. Oh, don't shoot my donkey. Oh, you... Nah. Uh, uh. I made it. Uh, let's use an instant health potion. Heals four hearts. All right, I feel safer now. So this is what I've done with the place. I don't have a bed in here yet because um I didn't bring it over because I, I didn't want to not set my spawn, if you know what I mean. I didn't want my spawn to change. But that's what I was going to go out and do is get some sheep so I can make a bed. There's zombies coming for me too. Actually, I don't know if he sees me. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan. I was going to get some sheep. Anyway, here's what I've done with the place. A couple furnaces or three of them. Then we got some a workbench. I had to point out what it is. It's a workbench. Look. Then we got little stairs down. This is where I'm going to store some things uh, for our build. I have room for a couple more chests on top. And I have room for chests here as well. So... Um, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be pretty useful. And already, I've organized stuff. Last season was not the greatest in terms of chest organization. This season, I've already got wood here, cobble here, I've got dirt and, and, uh, and gravel here. I've got sand and glass. Quartz and clay, which I think both of these are going to play a big part in my project, especially the quartz. So I'm going to have to go into the nether and mine a bunch of quartz. We have food in this chest. Uh, oh, coal in this chest. Uh, goodies in this chest. I'm not sure if that should be in here or not, but I'll leave it in here. Th th these are valuable now, man. The regen potions are amazing. Uh, I've got, like, basically just drops in here. And... This is sort of like a miscellaneous chest. I, sh I should put the goodies. I should put this with the goodies, shouldn't I? It's gold horse armor, man. I'm going to put um, saplings and stuff here. I'm, I'm going to need a lot of saplings, too. And here's just tools and tool-related items. But now I'm in some trouble. What should I do? I should probably wait till daytime to leave this place. I should probably make a sword. I still haven't found any diamonds, and I've been trying. I promise you, I have been trying. I've gone down, and I've, I've even branch mined a little bit. Nothing. No diamonds. I have one diamond here, and that's because a video gave it to me. <laughs> he felt he felt pity. Uh, three for the pick, and two for the sword. There's so many terrible things waiting for me outside. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and... I guess just hang in here for a little bit, and uh, then I'll, I'll have to go collect some some dirt or some cobble so that I can start marking off the per probably cobble because um, what are their what are, what's their faces? Enderman will probably remove the dirt and then cause me a whole lot of pain and suffering. What well, these guys gonna burn so good? Creeper out there! I gotta light this up a little better. Come on, start burning! While I was gathering cobble, it turned night out, so I decided, hey, let's look for some caves. Man, look at all this redstone but no diamond. I'm hoping to find our very first actually found diamond and not given to us diamond here on the server right now. Because I still... Yes! Oh my gosh! Finally! I hope it's more than one piece. I hope it's one more than one piece. In fact, I hope there's more than one area. Okay, guy. Are you gonna give me trouble? Can you just climb up here real quick? Where are you going? He's going around. He's going the smart way. <sighs> I'm almost scared to mine that diamond because if it's just one piece. I mean, I already have one diamond, so if it's just two pieces, I'll be happy. Then I can have a silk touch pick. Where I can try for a silk touch pick, which means... Ow! I didn't think you were close enough. Which means I should keep mining, actually, to get some more levels. Here we go. I brought an iron pick with me, just in case this happened. One. This, no, 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 no. This, oh, thank you. Thank you! Oh, another one. Oh, my God, that's good. This is good news. Oh, I can, I can make a pick. How many do I have? Three plus the one that the video gave me four. 
I can make a pick and a shovel. <laughs> I guess I could make a shovel. By the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but I will not be using a grinder, a, a, a level experience grinder, this season at all. Because I think that is one of the worst things you can do in this game. As soon as you get diamond, you go and grind out 30 levels in a matter of seconds, and you have, like, protection for armor. And you can never die, which takes away all the fun. Of course, this is UHC mode, though, so maybe that wouldn't be a terrible idea. <laughs> but no, I'm going to try... Let's just say this. I'm not going to... I'm not going to use a, a grinder for as long as I can help it. Um, but who knows what the future holds. Let's, uh... Man, how do the... Okay, the entrance to get out is right here. Take a screenshot of that. Because I am terrible with directions. I'm going to mine a lot of this redstone off camera. But I just want to go ahead and, and check out real quick if there's more diamonds in the area. This These lighting glitches are kind of terrible. Uh, let's mine our way through. I do have my trusty bucket of water. Never leave home without it. Oh, it's just more lava here. There's a lot of lava down here. Well, if I ever need lava for my build, which I don't think I will, but who knows. Like I said, I wanted to make it functional this time, like really functional, so I might have a cobble generator or something, you know? I mean, it'll... It gives it a purpose, I guess. <laughs> Not that you can't just get cobble pretty much anywhere. Man, there's a lot of redstone in here. Redstone, redstone, iron. wonder what's behind gravel wall number one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna mine up this redstone, this coal, as many ores as I can down here to get these experience points. Then we're gonna probably do about a quarter of the circle, just so I can gauge the size. <laughs> That's what she said. And then we're gonna go enchant said pick, assuming I don't die between all this. That, that would be terrible, lose all my levels. But yeah, I'll be right back. Can't, can't do that. Gotta, gotta switch out. I am back home, and I'm going to make something that is actually going to be very useful, because I don't know where I am in terms of the spawn. I need to get back to spawn to enchant stuff, to enchant this pick, to be more precise. Okay, here's my diamond pick. I'm ready. I am ready to be part of the diamond crew. What am I doing here? I got a cross out of iron? There we go. Boom. Compass. I know which way spawn is generally, and I guess I could just head towards uh, zero zero, and I'd eventually find it. I think. I don't think it's exactly at zero zero, but I'm pretty sure I couldn't miss it. Uh, but hey, why not? Let's make this useful. Let's make this compass actually useful. And look at that—it's pointing in that direction. I would have sworn it was in that direction, but as you guys know, I am absolutely horrible with directions. So, the reason I, I was going to actually build a quarter of the uh, the uh, the lily pad before I went to enchant, but I'm going to go enchant first because I need a lily pad to start my lily pad build so I don't have to pillar up from the bottom of the ocean. Uh, you can... And by the way, this guy broke free. I'm, I'm down to one lead because he's just gone. Like, the lead... I came over here and he was wandering the plains here. The lead is, is just nowhere to be found. I'm not sure what happened. Anyway, let's make our way over to spawn by using our trusty compass. <laughs> I'm going to make a clock, too, just to put it in people's faces. I wasted gold on a clock. Suck it. Hey, Beefy, what are you doing in the nether? I thought you were going to go and change your pick. Well, you are correct there, Frank. What I am doing in the nether is rounding up my levels to 28, because I was at 27, and it's tough to get odd numbers in this enchantment table. And I know I could just go with, like, a lesser enchant, but I want to use all every single level I have. So here we are, 28 levels, a very slightly used pick. Uh, I have to cover something up. Let's, uh, I think that should probably do it. No, that's, that's way too much. Um, that should probably do it. That has no effect. How about that? No effect. And that? 28, here we go. I wouldn't mind fortune or anything else, but I really love a silk touch right now. Oh, man. 
Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh no! The worst possible pick I could get. That is ridiculous. Oh, my only diamond pick. And I have unbreaking on. <laughs> well, at least I know it'll last me a while. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Alright, where are we at in terms of nighttime? Sun is setting. Uh, it was not an easy trip over here, by the way. It was tricky. During the nighttime, there are lots of bad things that come out and try to kill you. This guy took an arrow in his buttocks, which is unfortunate, but he survived. David Hasselhoff's a tough guy. Um, let's check out Spawn, I guess, while we're here, waiting for this moon to set. Moon to set? Oh, man, no way! <laughs> no way. You know, somebody on the Reddit pointed out that this looks like a the, the baked potato on a stick. It looks like a baked potato on a stick, basically, and it looks like somebody... <laughs> said the same thing oh man I don't think it looks that bad it is a little flat up top or something I don't know what's going on up there there's mobs oh man did he just did I just witness a spawn I did that seems awfully close doesn't it I don't know maybe I'm wrong anyway we're um yeah spawns not looking great right now <laughs> spawns actually pretty ugly right now so, there's not much to see. <laughs> Here's what's gonna happen. I sound like Trump. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna log off, you're gonna wait for the sun to rise, and then you're gonna walk back home. That's a terrible Trump. Um, I guess I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait it out here. There's nobody else on. If there's a bed around here, I will totally sleep in it. In this hole, maybe? Is there a bed in here? Somebody sleeping in my bed. Alright, I'm just gonna wait. Man, the trip back here is not a pleasant one. Look at David Hasselhoff's health. He lost four hearts due to a kamikaze creeper blast. I guess they're all kamikaze creeper blasts. Um, yeah, the, the, the creeper just came out of a cave we we're just we we're just walking minding our own business trotting along being all horsey and jackassy and stuff because he's a jackass it's not a bad word it's the actual name of the animal and a creeper just comes up out of the cave and boom explodes i lose like four no oh, did i no i only lost two and a half hearts i didn't lose four hearts he lost four hearts he only has eight hearts to begin with which is not i mean come on <laughs> come on creeper come on shelly that's an old uh, Mad TV reference, actually. That's pretty crazy that I still remember that. All right, so I have the plan in my head of what I want to do. Let me just grab a bunch of cobble. I'm not sure I'm going to use all this cobble, but we might. I want to place down a lily pad to start building my lily pad. What time is it? Oh, my gosh. The sun is going down already. Um, Where should we do it? We got to... Probably somewhere along these lines. I should make a boat, actually. Do I have wood on me? I do not. Let's go make a boat. One piece. Perfect. That is exactly what I needed. Go ahead and do this. You know what I need to find next? More diamond for an enchanting table. Because I don't want to go back to spawn every time I need to enchant something. It takes forever. And it's dangerous. And it takes almost a whole Minecraft day. I mean, look at it. It's almost sundown, and I left at sunrise. So, yeah, not fun. Anyway, let's head out in our boat here. Let's see. I think around this area should be good. We'll have the edge of it sort of in line with that mountain. Sort of want it in the middle. Maybe here? Can we place? Yes! Oh, that's brilliant. I love it. You don't have to... You, you can't... I love that right-clicking means that you don't automatically get out of your boat anymore. The only problem is when you do that. Oh good, the boat didn't take off. Do I have my cobble with me? Oh no, I just dropped, oh no, oh gosh, oh. Oh gosh, okay. Emergency cobble rescue. <laughs> oh, we need some air. We need some air. We need some air. Thank you. This should be enough to get me up. And now I have the cobble in my hands. It is deep in here. I need ice, too, for my build, so... Dang it, man. I really need... I really need a <laughs> silk touch pick. Alright, so there's the first block. 
of our project. And remember, it's not going to be cobble. This is just so I can mark out what's happening here. Um, all right, so this is going to be probably pretty annoying for you guys to watch. I could place it on the boat. That's fantastic. But then it's going to be tricky to maneuver it. Uh, let me figure something out here. Man, oh, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go sleep. Otherwise, it's going to be gross. <laughs> it's going to be gross. Slow down. Uh, don't hit the shore. Okay. It hit the shore, but it didn't hit it hard enough. Okay, it is now daytime. I am changing my mind about the height of this thing. Should be down here. Which means that can I... Oh, oh let's break this with my amazing unbreaking three pick uh, that I'm so excited about. Can't believe that. And now I don't need a boat at all. I could just... I could just do this. So, we'll start with one, two, <clears throat> excuse me, three, four, five. Now, I'm using a website called mineconics.net. One, two, three, four, five. To work out this circle, because it's going to be a pretty large circle. Are we? Yeah, we're about the middle, right? From this shore to that shore. We're about there. I mean, this is. That's pretty close. In terms of distance, so we're good. Uh, the middle is this block here. Let's do that to mark the block or mark the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So for these large circles, um, the, the smaller circles, I pretty much memorized <laughs> where to place blocks, which blocks go where to make it look as circular as possible. But for these larger ones, I use this mineconics.net website, which lets you set the parameters of the circle you're making. Uh, and then it, it generates an image for you, and it's very helpful. Was that three? That was three. Next is two. Oh, this is going to be, I think it's going to be real nice. Of course, in my head, it's of course going to be real nice. But who knows what happens when you put it on paper, so to speak. Half the circle's complete. See, it's not going to be that big. It's uh, it's going to be a decent size. It's going to be nice. I'm going to like it, I think. I hope. I hope you all like it, too. This is the moment, three, four, five, that I dread as a circle maker. I don't even want to turn around. If this next section does not line up, then I went wrong somewhere along the way, and it's going to be such a pain to find out where. That's one, two, three, four, five. The next one should be five as well. On the outside, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah! Best feeling ever. Oh man, this is good. Excellent. Though this is our this is our lily pad beginnings. The next thing we gotta do is add like the slit here, and I'm gonna make it face the shore so that uh, this is sort of where you enter in with a boat. I uh, I'll make some sort of uh, mechanism where this is, this is hmm. Where can we go? Should we make it like a circle? What the, the, the diameter here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there's 11. I wonder if that would look good if it was just another circle inside. That might not look too much like a lily pad, though. Lily pads have sort of a, like an inverted circle. It's hard to explain. Well, let me play around here. Oh, I don't even have any more cobble. You know what? I gotta. Go. Oh, crap, I fell in. Doesn't matter. I gotta go get some cobble. I could have just shown you an actual lily pad instead of trying to explain what I was talking about in terms of the inverted circular thing. Uh, this part here, you see how it's rounded out? I was thinking of making it rounded in, but then that wouldn't look like a lily pad. So I got to sort of make a rounded out area, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So let's try and let's see. We could probably start it from here. Actually, right where this block is might be perfect. So if we started it um, here on each side, oh, this is going to take some experimentation. We go three, and then uh, no, maybe just two. Yeah, just two. Like that. 
So I sort of like this shape, but it's not big enough. It needs to probably extend further back. So I might start it out wider and then, uh, yeah, and then extend it further in. Hey there. Oh, caps. <laughs> Sorry, caps. Uh, wait. What's going on? Hello? What's going on? Something is wrong. Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Um, yeah, so let me redo it real quick. I think I finally got the shape I wanted. Yeah, that looks really good. I'm happy about that. I didn't want it to go all the way to the middle because that'll just detract from a lot of the space. This is going to be like a natural sort of looking area. I'm going to have trees and grass and walkways and stuff. And then underneath there's going to be living space, really, or storage and stuff like that underneath. But I need ice for underneath so that I can actually see out into the ocean nicely. Look at all these mobs spawning here. So yeah, this is what we're going to go with for now. I also thought, hey, you know, if I wanted to make it bigger, there's tons of space here to do that. <laughs> I mean, I can even connect a bunch of them together. Like, imagine having this lily pad for a certain something, and then another one right there, and maybe another one off to that section. Maybe they're all connected underground or underwater, I should say, via ice tunnels. That'd be really cool. But for now, we're going to work on this one. And... For now, I'm going to have to end the episode here. I've been recording, well, I've been playing a really long time. It's time to do some stuff in real life. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you have any ideas, let me know. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff running through my head. We'll just have to see how it turns out when we, uh, when we take action. See you next time. Bye-bye.